What is the okay. chance that we're going to hear um, a little, a little uh, um, Italian? Well, a little Crosby, a little Crosby, Nash, Young. Oh, you mean in the, the yeah, the song Hard to Do you, you think uh, we're going to hear any? Uh, Five hundred years in the future, they're listening to CSN. Yeah, why not? Sure, why? Hey, they had a belly dancer 500 years in the future. I mean, it could be awesome. I don't right? know anything I... about this episode, but Heard of Gold was not the album that Neil Young wrote for um, the movie that was, uh, oh, was it with Harry Dean Stanton? It was supposed to be a sci-fi movie, and then that movie never came out, but the, uh, the album did, and it did amazing, because it's the one where he sings about... Uh, I thought I saw a silver spaceship on oh. the yellow haze of the sun. And it's it's about the, Are you the sci-fi about movie. Brooks? No, I'm talking about Neil Young. Because <laughs> uh, that happened with Garth Brooks. He put up an album in like a under. No, like I'm talking about Bob's coming up. Never... Bob's coming up here to sing the song. Hey, hey everyone. It keeps me I, searching I for a Neil heart Young of gold. In if you'd like to hear it, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it with an audience. But Bob has come up to sing the song for it. I'm convinced of it. I, I just wanted to say three things I want to see tonight. We've got two episodes to see him in. Reavers, some backflips, and a little bit more about Book's past. I want him to be like, you know, some kind of crazy gun slinging something. Uh, well, were, you here, yeah, were, you, were you here yesterday, Bob? Uh, yes. Yeah, I saw, I saw yesterday. So we, so we were talking, we were talking in the post show, you might have gone by then. We were talking about how we, I, I think that book is like, as, or some of us do think that book is something CIA related, like that he's like whatever he's, or was whatever the equivalent of the Alliance's um, spy service that he, at first it was like law enforcement. But because he seems to know a little bit about law enforcement and talked a lot about those sort sort of specifics, but he I don't think he's military because if he was military and he was high level military or enough for that to have mattered when they looked at his like little form, uh, you'd know who he was. Like if he was like an important admiral, like he he wouldn't be able to stay undercover, you know, or or you know be. He wouldn't be able to go unnoticed. But if he was an ex-spy who's now turned to God, or if he's a current spy and this is his this is his actual um, you know, like cover, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I propose a like drinking that. game. Every time one of Bob's predictions comes true, we drink something. It doesn't matter what, just drink something. Oh, I have a little. I have a. I have a thing of water here. I, th I have a thing of water, and you know me. I'm. I. I need to drink more, so I'm totally down for that. Okay, so yeah, I, I only drink. I only have water too, so I won't get drunk playing this game of Bob's predictions. But <laughs> how about this? How about every time that River does a backflip, we all have to drink a shot of Everclear. I don't have Everclear. <laughs> what is that doing? I do have, um, I do have a Firefly vodka. <laughs> I think John has... We, but wait, is it the Everclear you can buy in California or the one you have to drive all the way to Nevada to get? The Whichever is the stronger. Yeah, it's the I'm, one in Nevada. I Firefly vodka. I, I, uh, I know the, we're a cult here, but that's just out of line, John. <laughs> I'm not drinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm, all right, guys, Let, let's get this episode started since we're doing a double feature and we can goof around a little bit more later and maybe we'll all be drunk at that point. Oh, we, we just will. don't oh, know we yet. Will. Oh, we will. Don't you worry about that. Oh, and then goof. the Neil Young album was after the Gold Rush. I had him, I had him switched around. It's, it's, but that, look that up. That's about a, that was supposed to be a sci-fi movie and I think it would have been cool because I love Harry Dean Stanton, but never made it. Hey, Shelly, quick question. What's your prediction based on Heart of Gold is the, the name of the show since you're up here and we know you haven't seen it before? I, I think there's going to be because <laughs> that is a Neil Young song, so 
It, Keep right me here. searching for a heart. Um, I got Jen in Jen's what, path that we and left. I'm getting old. What did you What did you think it was gonna be? I'm sorry, you cut out. My phone's been kind of wonky the last few days. What did you think it was gonna be because of the name of this? Shelly, uh, you cut out for me. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm oh, afraid if I no, I don't know. I just I I just, I, I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, okay. I, I have no I have no predictions for the show at all. We don't really have anybody new down here. And because my connection is being wonky, I don't know if I want to do a long preamble. Um, I can if you want me to do it. Otherwise, uh, I, I don't could just remind everybody. I don't think you need to. Okay. So I'm just going to thank you all for joining us. We are watching episode 13, Heart of Gold, of Firefly, um, for the first of the two viewings tonight. Uh, just remember, if you're up here on the couch, to keep your volume low when speaking and to mute when not speaking so that we don't hear a lot of background noise. And if you uh, you can chat at any time, as you all know, and uh, get your glasses ready. Get some Everclear on the table. So Jell we'll, we'll do Everclear a countdown. Everclear Jello shots. Gold. <laughs> oh, we don't, wow. we don't have time to make those. Gold. <laughs> okay. Canadian up here. I have no idea what Everclear is. It's, it's basically very... lighter fluid. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I think you guys should just grab a bottle of the Firefly Sweet Tea Vodka. Well, not everybody has that. Green. <laughs> That's the bottle that goes <laughs> So if, are you guys all ready? Do you have your episodes queued up or do we need a minute to do that since we've all been kind of I'm all set. Set. I'm ready. talking later? And I have the, the, the thing open to, to press play on that too. Thank you, Sherry, for messaging me. You got it. And I know you love the show. So hey, I Jen. Hey, I had I a panic. I was like, Jen, do you, do you need a minute? The episode is Heart of Gold, number 13. She's all set. I am okay. set. I we're like ready. Just need it. All right. So if everybody's ready, including myself, let me get back on to where it's going to play because my Apple TV likes to put me in screensavers. All right. On the count of three. One, two, three. Mary will let you know when the episode starts. You did all start with mail, right? Yep. Yep. You know, I will say, you know, the, the a lot of the dialogue has this, like, you know, kind of um, slang, you know, kind of Western slang, you know? It's got some thems, vernacular, yeah. Thems and, Previously you know, on. I'm, yes. Sorry, go ahead, John. Um, well, I was just going to say, like, you know, a, there's a lot of that, you know, the only thing is that it's never, it never comes with a, a Western, a, a real authentic Western dialect. So it always sounds a little odd when it's like coming from an actor who's speaking in a very kind of clean, in a, in a clean, almost standard American accent. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I I understand, but there's no West here. Like, there's no. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just, it's just one of those little small things that I've. I mean, and I hear it most from Kaylee, to be honest. When Kaylee gets real kind of Western slang, but doesn't really have a Western accent, um, I always notice it. Sometimes Mal as well. Are we still on the previously on? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, on, we're almost done, oh, yeah. Mary. Hang on. It's a long previously on. There's hey, a long. Go, go, Mary. Hey, uh, it was a long one. Everybody, I think, is like a second ahead of me because I. everybody must have started it and then it like went a second and then they stopped it, whereas I like went back to the zero second mark. So 
I think everybody's like a special the second. The script says pretty girl, pretty boy. Oh my gosh, like a land speeder? I mean, that's that's awesome. Pretty girl. <laughs> that is a Star Wars yeah, land speeder. Right I was just going to say, it's, very Star Wars. It's Star Wars and the Wild Wild West all in one, right? Is this pretty? I forgot about this episode. I watched it earlier. I mean, that, to I mean that is land speeder. <laughs> This actor, where, where, where have I seen him recently? I'm not sure. What the heck? He reminds me of Bill Pack. I do think it's kind of hilarious that he has like that land speeder hovercraft type thing and his uh little henchmen all around horses <laughs> yeah i was trying to figure out how the horses kept up he probably just drives it slower do these girls have some sort of guards you know like i don't want to say pimp but is there some protection that, that, that that Nancy. Woman, that, that's, that's their man Thinking like Cool Sin City, where there's like girls with guns standing. The guy who plays uh, Lance Burgess is Frederick Lee uh, Leany, L E H. <laughs> Zing. Pinch. He has to say something. So you have got two opportunities to figure it out. I cannot stand. I don't care. I'm still free. You can't take the sky from me. <laughs> I love it. Take me out to the black. Take me out. I can't. I, I'm like Ryan to read the subtitles. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Take this guy from me. But you can tell. But you see, I'm I'm a little behind all of you, right? Yes, that's okay though. Like about a second or two. Since I found serenity, I can be. Since I found serenity, you can take this guy from me. I'm like right it's like, in y'all seconds. I sure do like the look of that ship. I, do too. I, I love the space shots like that where you get to see the whole ship. It's kind of like a swan a bit. It is. <laughs> they got guns and braids. They got guns. <laughs> I love Engage in a feces hurling contest with a monkey. Seriously, that was the translation. Yeah. 
waved you. I like that. Blessings what, on you, dear sister. I think that's what they call these communications are waves. Yeah, like I, I enjoy that. <laughs> He's cool. So those are not actual companions. No, Mandy was the only one, but she left the house. That makes sense. There's a bunch of, you know, B squad. Yeah, Mandy is the one who was like the madam. That's how she knows an art. I'm sure Jane would be happy. Jane and his heart of gold. <laughs> I knew it. I'm in. That's a heart of gold, isn't it? I was like, did you tell them they're beautiful women? <laughs> Do you remember when he said the cows were fed twice a day by beautiful women? Like, it's a very valuable thing. He's wearing a nice shirt. Little sister. Jane's wearing a nice shirt. <laughs> He's trying to dress up. See, such a heart of gold he has. Uh, if you would just not talk. Actually, my my uh, comment there about the about the slang vernacular not often coming with a a good dialect to back it up that does not apply to Jane. I think Jane actually is the only one that when he uses that vernacular, it always feels very authentic. He looks, looks like he's excited I, over the food. <laughs> I think he's trying to keep his blinders on. <laughs> Is that a jar of mayo? <laughs> Five hundred yes. years in the future, still, you still want to get some mayo on that bread before you. <laughs> I Wash love it so sweet. Yeah. Wash, tell me I'm pretty.
I love their report. The theater, there's a whole paragraph. I'll, I'll read it later. It reminds me a little bit about the theater scene in Tombstone as well. It's no, the story it of the earth that was. Ah, he's Booker. on Dexter. He's on Dexter Hunter. That's the actor on this new season of Dexter. Oh my gosh. Okay. I knew it. I was like, where is what is he? Yeah, he plays the billionaire. He's yeah. a billionaire. Oh uh, wow. Okay. What's that about? He says to his wife, like, that's always good. Yeah, yeah well, they said she, Mandy said that she can't give him a kid. She he wants. Maybe she's got some, you know, pool boys. They have like a agreement. That's a bad plan, man. As a lot of people will try to move. Jane would like. Yes, he would. They would be so annoyed with Jane. Might find a way. John, there's the religion kind of point to it. He says a carpenter for some time now. All right. What does that mean? Does that mean he's he's been he's, he's into religion for a while? For a while. But that would lead to but, maybe Christianity again. And well, I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what this guy's backstory is and i don't think that it that it was always religion when books said hammer i kind of thought like a gun Nope, hammer. Nope, yep. Just he meant he was going to be hammering some stuff.
I love the difference between pain and pain. My favorite. Will there be a will Will there be a kid in the movie? I love the way she said it. Like you're giving me a baby, and then she's walking. Oh yeah, eventually you're not gonna be up. It's gonna happen. Oh, she sees right through. I love River, mine too. I don't know, who do you think is in there? I love that question.
Everclear. Yum. They could take it. Heat rice wine. I was just going to say, I don't think it's ever. Sake. It's got to be hot sake. No, but I actually have a bottle of sake up here. Sake's good. Extraordinarily impatient Buddha. Has, Mal hasn't had a, uh, he hasn't, no. he hasn't hooked up yet. No, that we nope. see, no. Miss Reynolds knocked him out with the kid. Oh, right. That's why he pulls back. And then Anara the kiss, his, like, long story. And then Anara kissed him when he was out. So he hasn't really gotten any good kiss. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just throwing out some one liners. There's the title. He says Shari, not Chari, it's C-A. Hey, Deadwood is feeling right now. The first time he said the name, I actually thought he said Sharon. I'm like, did they really just use my name in this? That man is mean. Yeah, he's a piece of work. Piece of something. Well, looky here.
like a slap across the face to both of them. I didn't expect that. Yeah, me neither. I'm not sure how I feel about She's this. She's got a thing for him. She just hides it. Or she kept it Look, together. Hmm. Hmm. Nandy said to him, I'm not her. So she noticed right off the bat that he has feelings for an art. Honestly, I expect better from medicine 500 years in the future. You got to make it a little bit easier on us. Yeah, and I thought they loaded up on medical support. They had, but then they got rid of it all. Okay. See, he really is oblivious to the way Anara feels for him, and, and she is oblivious to his feelings towards her.
dirty bastard son of. So that that is that gun is designed to look like a six shooter, but it's actually like a fifty shooter. Yeah. That's a cool weapon. That's the one they were looking at at the. How precious is water in this place? You just got this fire. Serenity fixed them up with extra tubing and stuff. The doctor is going to be super busy with all these bullets. <laughs> Pistol pikers. That knife has like a, that knife has like a, oh, whoa. It has like a, a little, like a solution on the, on the, on the blade's edge, which is completely dull. And then he has something painted on his neck, like a, a, an invisible solution as well. And when the two solutions meet, like come in contact with one another, they, um, they turn red. And so that's how you create that, like cutting somebody and like, it creates like a red line, like blood. He just crossed the wrong person. Did you see the look on Anara's face when she, that she gave? Hey, and that's again, <laughs> we got that's some, the, that's the horse we, named Fred. We got a somersault. Not the <laughs> yeah, It's I'm just saying we're getting closer. I can feel it. Check battery. I love that. Yeah, be kidding me. <laughs> Super <laughs> fan. Yeah. He fire. shoots like a stormtrooper. Well, why not? He already has the hovercraft. Exactly. He's making demands.
<laughs> it like it like didn't even show it. Good Bob. Just, just like the top of the head just flopping forward. That would not be the case in television today. She is leaving. Shut up. <laughs> Knew it. Shut Saw it coming. How do you know that? They were supposed to kiss. No, not at all. I, I mean, and I would have been very annoyed if that had happened. <laughs> I know, but I, I wanted it. Quick question, are we going right into the next show or should we pause and wait? Just pause a second.